welcome to Cope with Hope. Today I have my dear friend Desiree Purnani, who's going to give us some lovely EFT procedures to deal with what happens during menopause and basically for three things. Normally she works with people and it's very person specific, but um, I've asked her to give a general, a general healing technique for palpitations, for hot flushes, and for emotional breakdowns. You know, when you're going to menopause, you feel like weeping or you feel upset about something. So for these three things. Thank you so much, Desiree, for coming on and agreeing to do this. So would you tell our audience what you do with the EFT? Hi, hi Nandini. So EFT, I have, uh, I've learned EFT several years back and I do use it with uh, people I counsel. But for me, the magic of EFT actually started happening when I started using it on cancer patients. Now, these are low income cancer patients, largely from Tata Hospital. And I'm part of an NGO where we do empowerment programs for them. So my role was specifically to teach them EFT to do it for themselves. And also, uh, so I do it mostly by demonstrating. Now, these are women who come from all over India. Uh, you know, some of them speak Hindi, some of them may not understand Hindi so well, but they come from very difficult circumstances. Yeah. And if you teach them, you have to teach them very simply. You have to really bring it down to the basic. Okay, that this is the basic. Can you learn this? And it will work. I found that when I did it with them, it was magical. And for me, it was such an encouragement to get a little daring, to explore, to experiment, to see how I could simplify it for them and teach it to them within that pretty much two hours that I get, you know, or three hours that I get to teach them. So what I'm going to share with you today is that simplified process. We, I okay. love that because in today's world, yeah. what's happening with the pandemic, people need simple. You don't need too much Absolutely. complication. You need Absolutely. simple. So Absolutely. thank you so Absolutely. much. Yes. So I'm going to explain to you the process. I'm going to show you the points and I'm going to show you how to do it for yourself. If at the moment I had someone who was here in front of me with one of the symptoms we are going to work with, it would have been useful. But nevertheless, I'll teach it to you. I would also encourage you then, if you know you're sort of a little confused what is happening, you can go on the net. There are lots and lots of YouTube. You can check them out. You can uh, tap with some of the people you resonate with. And only one thing here I want to tell you is that often you will find that different therapists Sometimes there's a little difference in the points. You know, I may do a particular point. They may, the basic points are same. Okay. It does not matter. So don't let that confuse you that, you know, she did that point. You're, this one's doing that. It doesn't matter. You can do both of them. You can do one of them. Just see how it works for you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So EFT, I'm going to call it tapping because that works. So I don't, the name emotional freedom technique somehow doesn't seem to fully represent this and I really have no idea why it was given. The tapping the miracle. Person, the tapping, tapping absolutely, miracle. <laughs> ab absolutely tapping miracle. So um, this was started by an American, Gary Craig, and there's a whole history of how he started. We're not going into that. No, no. What is very important for you to know is that it's a very simple four-step process. So it's A, B, C, D. Okay? That's what it is. And whether you're doing it for physical pain or you're doing it for emotional pain, whether you're doing it something that is very old in your life or something that happened five minutes back, it makes no difference. The points are the same. Okay. Whatever you do it for, the points are the same. The process is the same. You can be sitting and doing it, lying down and doing it, walking and doing it. You can do it before meals, after meals, day, night. Makes no difference. Okay. These are some of the questions I'm preempting and answering. Whether you do it on the left side of your body, on the right side of your body, makes no difference. So let's get to the four step process and then we'll go into specifically examining these three things we have chosen for today. So the first is awareness. A for awareness. It's A, B, C, D. Okay. So A for awareness. Awareness has three components to it. It's very simple. 
where do I have the pain? How much pain is there? So if zero is no pain and 10 is unbearable pain, just now when I am tapping, how much pain is there? So okay. it's important to know that you can only tap for a particular thing when it is present. So if yeah. you had anxiety at night and you're okay now, you can't tap for it. You would not feel the difference. You would have to do it when it is there. Okay. okay. Yeah. So is awareness. Yeah. Awareness. How much, where do I have this pain? How much is it on a scale of zero to 10? And the third thing is that at one time you take one pain. So if you were to tell me I have a pain in my shoulder, but I also have a pain in my knee, I would say to you, please take one first and then we will take the other. The only exemption for this is sometimes when we do the legs, you know, and people say both my legs are paining, we usually take it together. Once we have taken it together, someone will tell me that, you know, my left leg is feeling okay, but not my right. Then I know that these are two separate pains and then we tap for them separately. Okay. Otherwise, so there's together. three things. The A is one, awareness of where the pain is. Two, yes. the level Absolutely. from zero to ten. And three, Absolutely. you take one pain or one thing at a time. That's right. So okay. in physical pain, that's easy to do because, you know, you can separate that I have it in my neck and I have it in my knee. Yeah. But when it comes to emotional pain, sometimes, uh, not sometimes, more often than not, it's not that easy to separate it because, you know, it could be fear, it could be anxiety, it could be anger, it could be regret, guilt, a lot of things mixed together. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Start with whatever you sense. And as you go, it will clarify. It's a very simple process. It will clarify for you because suddenly you'll feel, you know, I'm feeling good about this, but all of a sudden, I'm just feeling very guilty. Yeah. Then you know that, you know, these were all entwined together. And as you have removed one component, the other one now is coming to the fore and actually asking you for help. It's yeah. saying, you know, you help my, my whatever, my sister. Now, what about me? Yeah. You know? So yeah. then you do for that. Okay. So that's the first step, A, awareness. B is balancing. Balancing very simply is, this is your, it's called the karate chop. Okay. We tap on it and we tap on the higher portion. Okay, so like, so don't take it from the bottom to the top, take it from the top to the bottom where your finger finishes. It's the karate chop, okay? Okay. So here you tap and you, uh, you make a statement about your pain. And there is a specific way of making this statement. So let us say you have a pain in your shoulder. So you will say, even though I have this pain in my shoulder, I love, accept, and forgive myself completely. Okay. This has to be said thrice. I need to explain this to you carefully. You don't have to say it in exactly the words I'm saying. When I'm doing it with the cancer patients, I encourage them to do it in their own language. Okay. Okay. The, the idea is that what you're saying, that even though I'm having this pain, and as a result of that, I'm feeling a lot of aversion towards this pain. And I'm having a lot of aversion generally because I have this pain. I, so in, actually, it should be along with this pain, I love, accept, and I forgive, forgive myself. myself. For embracing this pain, I love, accept. And but I like myself. this even though. It's lovely. Yeah, even, even so though, even I, though have I have this. this. Yeah. That's what simplifies it. There's an innocence to it. <laughs> that's right. And when you go on the net, very often you will not find the forgiveness used. Okay. I have over the years found it very effective because what we are forgiving ourselves for, we are forgiving ourselves for treating that part of the body with aversion yeah. or distaste or dislike. You know, like I often tell them, the cancer patients, I said, sometimes if we could have it our way, we would chop that leg and throw it away when it's hurting so much. Also, <laughs> Desiree, you blame yourself yes. for that pain. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Blame yourself. I've done something. There's something wrong with me that I'm feeling this way. I, I overdid the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Before yeah. I have this pain. Yes. Right? Yes. So, yeah. the, so you do need to forgive yourself yeah. for constantly Absolutely. berating and yeah. bashing yourself. And also for rejecting that part of the body yeah. and not embracing it along with the rest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So here what you're doing by this one simple statement you are not only unifying your whole body-mind system, you know, you're bringing it back together, but
but also your understanding that the basis of everything has to be a loving acceptance and a forgiveness yes and this is for everything it's not just for your physical pain or emotional pain okay so this gets programmed in you without your realizing it yes. okay so you'd say thrice say it in your own words take a deep breath you can say oh my god although i really have this pain and i was so stupid to sit up late at night watching that film <laughs> you know yet i love accept and forgive myself, myself. all right yeah. yes absolutely and i do forgive myself okay so you may make the statement thrice while tapping yeah how strong should the tapping be it should not be so light that you barely feel it it should not be so uh, harsh that it creates like a vibration in you it has to be firm okay and you tap as long as you're saying the statement okay, okay. so as you say the statement you tap however long it is so that's your b so why it's called balancing because you're balancing all parts of yourself the ones that se- were separated the ones you had an aversion to the ones you could not forgive whatever okay so you're bringing it all back together again okay so now your whole complete and we are going to make you perfect with the tapping <laughs> okay yeah. okay so c is clearing so okay. clearing is the actual tapping okay because you're clearing the pain now right so there are some 15 odd points over the years again and i have been working with the cancer patients for over 6 years now okay so there is a wealth of experience there yeah um so i have found 10 points to be very useful and usually i stick with them i will tell you the five to use if these 10 don't work okay so the 10 points are and i think nandini will flash uh, uh, yes. there's a, a a picture but you can also that's very easily available also on the net if you you know go in for a diagram or image or it's very easy so 10 points right so the first point is at the crown of your head okay at the crown of your head then there are three points which are around the eyes okay so these are first is the eyebrow point so this is not your bindi point all right this is your eyebrow point okay so this is your eyebrow point and then there is side of the eye and i'm calling these by the name uh, which is there in the diagram so that makes it easy for you okay then there's side of the eye and then there's under the eye okay all three are done on the bone okay the bone uh, at the eyebrow the bone on the side of the eye and the bone under the eye okay so that is 3 and 1 4 and now there are three which are in a line there's one under the nose and there's one under the lip on the chin and there is one which is at your collarbone i'm just showing you this and i'm going to the rest i'm going to come back because this point is very important okay so it's it's here i'll come back to it so this gives you three points 1 2 3 which are all in a line these are three which are around the eye that's six and there's one on the top of your head that's seven that leaves three points so the next point is under your armpit this is about 3 inches under where the armpit starts if you want to know exactly it usually come it, it comes in line with your nipple so for women it's usually in the middle of the bra strap so it's very easy to identify okay if there's someone who's had um, breast surgery you can do it on the other side you can do it on any side you can start on the left go on the right it doesn't matter anyway okay so that makes eight points the ninth is your wrist point okay now again the wrist point some of the tapping experts don't use but i use it a lot so this is the wrist point and it's it's where the doctor or you know where you take the pulse okay that's the point and it's the point that facilitates the use of both hands so you can do it together like this okay and the last one is back to your karate chop okay when you do these 10 points you end here okay so these points have to be done twice so doing it tap twice is one round so when i did one then again i'd go back and come and do like that and then i would finish here so in that way if you count it becomes 21 10 plus 10 and you end here 21 if you count it like that okay so these are your 
these are the points that you use and this is the clearing. So what would happen is you will do one round. One round means you do two. Typically a round does not take more than a minute. And after you have done that, you will, so you, after you've done that, you'll come to D. Okay, so D is take a couple of deep breaths. So when you have finished two rounds, you will pause. And even while you're doing the tapping, you will try and remember to take deep breaths in between. Okay, you'll pause, you'll take two deep breaths, almost as if you're blowing out the pain. You know, almost as if you're exhaling it out. Okay, you take a deep breath, one, two, and then you will drink water. So D is also drink water. <laughs> At least two sips of water. And the third part of D is you will do it again. Yeah. And then you will do it again. Okay, so you go back. Now, the only difference between the first round and the second round. Okay, so you've done one round, you've taken a deep breath, you've drank water, and I forgot to say to you, you will now evaluate where the discomfort is at. So let us say you started at a level of eight, and now when you're evaluating, it could be even just seven or seven and a half, or it may have come down to two. Okay, whatever, three, whatever it's come down to. So what I'm emphasizing is even if it's marginally less, you don't feel discouraged. Just do two rounds, do three rounds. Okay, so once you've evaluated that, okay, it was at an eight, and now it seems like it's on a four, now I do the second round. When you're doing the second round, the only difference is that it's a slight difference in the statement you make. So the first time you said, even though I have a pain in my knees, now you will say the remaining pain in my knees because okay. you're doing it specifically for that component which is still there. And when you tap, you will say the remaining pain. Okay. okay. Beyond that, and this is called a reminder statement. The reason we have a reminder statement is so that you remain fully focused on what you're doing rather than having see the body also is like us no it wants full attention yeah so you can't say that i'm paying attention to your pain and then you're wandering off somewhere else it's going to throw a tantrum and tantrum with pain a tantrum is more pain that's the language it knows okay so that's what it's going to do so to avoid that and to pacify it and for it to know that you really care and you really love yourself you need to give it full attention for those two or three minutes during which you're doing the tapping. Okay. All right. So this is the tapping. Whether you're doing it for physical pain, whether you're doing it for emotional pain, whether you're doing it for any other disturbance in your system, the points remain the same. The process remains the same. Okay. Okay. So now, Nandini, shall we discuss uh, the, the, the menopause, uh, the components of it? Yeah, we can, so can we can just better. do one if you like, because now if you if they yeah. know the whole process, so either yeah. palpitations, hot flashes, or emotional, yes, very whatever uh, the mood swings, the mood swings. Yeah, okay. mood All right. So, so see, although we are today we've taken menopause and we are talking about uh, EFT and how you can do it for menopause. Actually, the thing is that menopause can be used for physical pain and it can be used for emotional or any other pain yeah. okay EFT so can be in, used for physical yes, or emotional. EF, sorry eft can be eft can be used. Yeah. so when we are talking about menopause because i said you take one thing at a time basically what are we doing we are breaking it down into the components yeah. that are usually a part of it right yeah. so as it is, mostly I we found, have seen yeah i found the minute yeah. you give something attention whether it's emotional, Absolutely. physical, mental, anything, you start giving it attention, you claim it, you Absolutely. feel it, it starts dissolving. That's, that's a, one of the major rules and in life I've seen. Because it's actually drawing your attention rightfully yes. to what you should be paying. You're claiming it, you're accepting you know? it, you're feeling it totally, Absolutely. you're saying, there, 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 it's all right with that's, the trapping. That's, and that's it starts dissolving. You, I mean, you've said it so beautifully. That's exactly what it is. Okay. All right. So let us just take the palpitation. All right. So yeah. if you are doing it for the palpitation, so one of the things when you're doing it for any emotional issue or any non-physical issue, let me put it that way, 
if you're doing it for any non-physical issue, do please get into the practice. People who have done Vipassana can do it very easily. You know, that the moment you have a thought, you drop into the body and you see where in my body am I feeling this thought, you know, yes. because the thought is never here. It's mm -hmm. body, body is frozen thought. Okay. Yeah. So now we are in this, all these talks that Nandini is doing is this process of thawing <laughs> that frozen body, you know, of saying, listen, how are you coping? What does hope mean to you? What does love mean to you? Because, you know, these have all become ice cubes and we've kept them all over. Once we start, you know, breathing that warm air of love onto it, it thaws and we understand better how to integrate into yes. it into our lives. You know, that is exactly what uh, Nandini is doing. And I think it's wonderful. Okay, so so if we are taking um, uh, what did we say? We take the palpitations, right? Okay, so immediately you drop into the body, see where you're feeling it. Okay, and then you start. So even though I am feeling, you assess how much is it. I don't know. Maybe it's five, six. Maybe it's ten. Maybe it's eleven. You know. Yeah. So even though I am feeling a lot of palpitation in my chest, I love, accept, and forgive myself. I truly love, accept, and forgive myself, even though these palpitations are really bothering me. Even though I'm feeling these palpitations and they are not allowing me to function properly, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay? You've done it thrice. And then you start the tapping. So it would be these palpitations. These palpitations I'm feeling in my chest. This pounding in my chest. This pounding in my chest. These palpitations. They always seem to come up just when I have to leave for office. Or they always seem to come up just when I have to do this, whatever. Okay? These palpitations. These palpitations, they've been now here with me for the last two days. They're not even reducing in intensity. In fact, I feel they are increasing in intensity. These palpitations, remembering to take deep breaths, these palpitations, these palpitations. And I have added one thing to it where I put I love my that, and I bless. I, it's a self-blessing that you give yes, right. that may I please be able to free myself from the suffering. Okay. Or you can remember whichever God you, you know, whichever force you believe in and you can give it rest. Okay. Once you do that, you take two deep breaths, you drink water. Two sips. At least, yeah. Two sips is good enough. Yeah. It's better to remember, you know, two, two rounds, two, two deep breaths, two sips. Okay. So you do that. Then you assess, how's the palpitation? Now, because this is a very subtle thing we have taken, unlike uh, physical pain, which is much more gross, okay? You may find, you may find sometimes that it's completely gone from there, okay? But you may find it's popped up somewhere else. Or you may find that it's completely changed its nature. That it's no longer a palpitation, but suddenly you are feeling a dull ache in that area. Okay. So whatever it is, it is essentially the same thing. But because it's breaking up, yes. it is manifesting in different ways. So either, see, when any pain of yours moves from one place to another or keeps changing in nature, please remember one thing. What it is doing, it is feeling that its presence in your body is very important because it is feeling the need to distract you from something which is important, which you should be paying attention to. This is not a part of EFT. I'm sharing this from my experience. So let us say you're having a lot of trouble at work and you really need to look at whether you want to carry on with that job or that career or whatever it is okay but something in you feels that oh my god if this dear one of mine it's a dear one okay it's out of concern and caring if this dear one of mine leaves her job we're going to have a lot of problems so what the body and mind feel they feel let's distract her from this if she's so occupied with her pain 
she will forget about leaving her job at work. <laughs> yes, because it thinks it's protecting you very much. How so many times a parent wrongly thinks they are protecting a child when they should actually allow the child to do what it needs to do. Yeah, you know, as it's growing process. So when you find this kind of thing happening, it is the body trying to think that okay, if I can't sit here, I'm going somewhere else. But I have to keep her or him totally focused on this. Yeah. so that there is no fight at home with the husband or the child or the maid or there is no you know the deep questions that come up about what's happening in my life i have to change things you know things like that and this really has to do with very deep seated kind of things where your system will try to distract you because it wrongly feels that the challenge uh, you either may not be up to it but the cost of it will be very high okay so yes. this is just an aside since it has come up i'm telling you yes. all right yes. however you. when <laughs> however when you're tapping if you find that the nature of it has changed like it's no longer a palpitation but it's a dull ache or oh i'm feeling okay here but you know it's gone to the other side or i can feel a throbbing in my knee now my knee was not throbbing before anything like that or the intensity has reduced either way always take what is there is no imagination here i am not asking you to visualize imagine anything it's exactly what is so then you say okay if the palpitation has reduced you would say all right even though i still have some palpitation i love accept and forgive myself completely even though it is still there to some extent so you'll do that and you'll do the round of tap okay if twice. it has shifted the thrice thrice always thrice, thrice. okay thrice yeah okay if it has shifted then you will attend to that you will express that exactly it feels as if now the pain has shifted to the other side it feels as if the throbbing has shifted to the knee yet i love accept and forgive myself completely okay so this is how you do it and palpitations is very good uh, ex- topic i mean example we've taken just now because it has a lot of components you know because it may not just yes. be because a physical thing from uh because of your menopause it it it's very often connected deeply with your anxiety about menopause it's all like the emotional palpitations are normally emotional yeah. you know yeah okay. yeah will i you know uh, will i lose my energy will, will i lose my attraction will my skin become dull will you know what will happen to my sex life after this or whatever it is you know whatever is bothering you about it uh will uh you know manifest as palpitations it will manifest as mood swings so a very it, good thing as desiree is talking about yeah. the different ways it manifests is to talk to somebody and girlfriends are great yes. at this you know Absolutely. that's why we did that panel because to be able to talk to somebody about it is very very helpful you know there's a put up the menopause panel i've got so many messages from so many people all over the world that thank god now i know i'm not going mad so a lot of That's these right. palpitations happen because you're so nervous about who can you talk yes. to what are you going to do That's so right. you know i i'm just going back you said try so you do three rounds of two right no you do two rounds of three only here when you're saying you say thrice thrice okay fine so you do two yeah. rounds so that's 21 and this you say thrice the big right even though yeah I mean, so I mean, you know it's like this you could also say it twice yeah. okay uh, it's Three what is, is very number. important is is yeah yeah no no but what is very important is that you are totally uh, it's the feeling with which you're saying it you know yeah. if you're really fully you know saying it with all the feeling even if you say it twice it does not matter to your body whether you're saying it twice or thrice yeah. it's just that see when someone makes a system no they have to put something down yeah. like often at the end of it i tell people you have to keep hydrated drink a lot of water yeah. now i'm not sure about a lot of people so what i will say over the next 2 hours drink one glass of water every half an hour yeah i'm just ensuring that they'll drink enough water okay yeah. so as i'm saying don't get caught up in all that Right. sometimes you know when i'm doing for someone and i've done one round something in them shifts and i know that i don't need to do a second round it's Absolutely. gone yeah you know yeah. so this is only because when a procedure is laid down when a system is made we have to give it a structure i agree then if you have questions please. write them below please. what i'll do is i'll yes. i'll tell theirs and if we need to do another little 
uh, video. Absolutely. We do that with the answers to your questions. And I'll yes. also put her email ID down in case you wanted to talk sure. to her directly. And you know what you could do, Nandini, maybe if there's someone who's really suffering with it, we could do, do a Zoom call with just three of us so that yeah. I could tap for that person and yeah. demonstrate. Absolutely. Uh, we, can do, we can do yeah. that as well. We can do yeah. a, see a few tapping series. Um, so do let us know. Thank you very much, Desiree. That was no. Very, I very just want to. I just want to conclude with one thing yes. that if yes. it's not working for you, okay. So I've shown you all this. If it works great, if it's not working, you need to look at a few things. First is when you're saying, are you saying with full feeling, okay? Yes. Or are you saying in an automatic kind of way? When you're tapping, are you with the reminder phrase so that you're fully attuned to what you're doing, yes. okay? Are you tapping firmly enough? Is it's not too soft? Are you making sure you're breathing deeply? Are you making sure you're drinking water? And yet, if it doesn't work, there are 10 or 15% of people for whom tapping does not work. My elder daughter, incidentally, is one of them. <laughs> okay. If it doesn't work, you could try using five additional points. These are easy to remember. They are the outer edge of your nail on all your five fingers. So it will be one, two, three, four, five. You could add these five points if you feel that, no, it's not working. And so these five points work very well for physical pain. They are not that effective for emotional pain, but you could try them if it's not. And you could try saying it well. You could be focused on it. One more thing. Are you saying it for the right thing? Yes. Because sometimes even we don't want to acknowledge what is happening. You know, that. And lastly, you need to be specific. Like you cannot say, even though I'm feeling the effects of menopause, nothing will happen. You need to say what exactly the thing is at that moment. <laughs> that moment in your body. What is it? So like when people say, oh, but this is my thought. I say, no, that won't help me. You have to tell me where that thought is here. Yes. And how much it is here. You know? So if you can remember these things, you practice and if you have any questions, you need any kind of help, you can please put out the questions and none will reach out. Yes. Just know we're there for you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that, that's the business we are in now. Yes. <laughs> that's the love we so have much. for you. <laughs> the business of absolutely. love. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> prem ka sauda. <laughs> prem, prem ka sauda. Thank you so much, Thank you so Desiree. Much. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. Please keep coming back for more. We love you.